Hey guys, today I'll be showing you my Lego Star Wars collection. But before I show you the minifigures, the sets, and all of that, I have to tell you something. I'm not trying to be done just do Lego showing videos. We do Lego unboxing videos, Lego building videos, Connects building videos, Connects unboxing videos, Beyblade videos. We also have another channel called Passer Tube Gaming. We do gaming videos such as Minecraft, Cup Noble, Roblox, Balloon City, Battles, Grand Pyrone, Among Us, and Stick World Legacy. So let's start. So, um, if you haven't watched all of my videos, um, or like all of my Star Wars videos more, um, specifically, um, I'm going to show you um the minifigures the sets the names of them and yeah but i can't build them in this video otherwise this video will be so long but anyway let's just stop talking and let's start talking about the minifigures so at the front we have a lego star wars sith sith trooper from the lego star wars sith trooper battle pack yeah, so it came, so each set came with four minifigures. Um, it came with one of these Sith Troopers, a Sith Trooper, uh, a Jetpack Sith Trooper, and a Sith Trooper Commander. These three. It came with two of these. And I, and I got two of the sets, so you might see more than what it's supposed to be. But yeah, so that's it. And then we have the Fiverr First Battle Pack. Uh, a lot of you know it by now because a lot of you really wanted this set. Of course, it came with six minifigures. It came with one Jetpack Fiverr First Phase 2 clone. Three of these uh, and two of these. So one of these, three of these, two of these. Really big set. Anyway, just place this back where it was. There we go. So, now we're going, I mean, we actually went pretty quick than I thought. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you the names. This is a regular Fire First Clone Trooper. This is a Jetpack Clone Trooper. This is a regular droid. Okay. So now, so all four of these came in one set. I'll, I'll, I'll put them up front so you can see them. I'll put this one out for a second so you can actually see all four. All of these just have the name of the Mandalorian Troopers. They came in the Mandalorian Troop Battle Pack. And yeah. There's four minifigures. One grey. One brown. One blue. And one green. And so now let's just place them back where they were. So, and then we have, so now we're going into the like more like main characters. All of these that I just shown you were like the troop. They don't really have any names. Now we're going on to the, the Mandalorian Armor Forge. To be honest, um, out of all the main characters, this guy's, um, the, the Armourer's got the weirdest name, literally. His name is The Armourer. I could have thought of a better name than that. And then we have the Mandalorian himself. Paz Vizsla with his chunky armour. To be honest, out of every Lego Star Wars set I've got, gotten so far, it's got the biggest, like set ever it's the biggest lego stall set i have i just place them back okay. 
I'm not sure if they're in the correct order, but nah, who cares? Now we have these two. They came in the Lego Star Wars AT Mini AT80 versus Torn Torn Battle Pack. No, I mean just versus, not a battle pack. But if you ever wanted a lightsaber, then this is the set for you. And yeah, so it has a it has Luke Skywalker in his snow suit, and we have an AT80 driver. So if you had an AT80 but you lost the minifigure, you can get extra pieces, and you can get yourself an AT80 driver with a snow trooper, Luke Skywalker. Anyway. Just place them back where they were. And of course, it's a very, very lonely Han Solo. Very lonely. Um, I'm just gonna show it to you. So, this is the set that he came in. It came in the Millennium Falcon set. Yeah. It doesn't have much of play feature. It just has two play features. Well, technically one. So it's just these two. That I'm going to press. I mean, we don't need them anymore because we're not making a stop motion animation, but okay. One landed on the table. Put that back on. And to be honest, that was all you can get from the set. Hand Solo, some extra pieces, well, the, millenn the mini Millennium Falcon, and some stud shooters. Place that back where it was. And the AT-80 driver and the Luke Skywalker set actually came with two things. It came from the, it came with a mini. So to be honest, the Millennium Falcon set actually had play features when this did not have any play features. So all I can do right now with these two is just show you. So I'm just gonna turn it around. So I've I've bet at least one all of you have seen a Millennium Falcon by now. And yeah. The only play feature it technically has is that the fact that you can move the head and the legs in this one. In this one, the only play feature you have is is moving the tail, which is really boring. <laughs> but the actual minifigures are really cool. So I'm giving you my real rating, and yeah. Here we have the Mandalorian Battle Pack as you can see i missed out one of the builds it's like the rocky mountain build that comes with the set i've got to build that and it comes with the mandalorian ship the only two this one has also like the mandalorian set and i'm gonna shoot it right at now one came to me there we go, that was a bit better than what I usually do did back in the day, like two years ago. I just shot shot across the room, then I had to walk across the room just to get it. Anyway. So my rating for this set is pretty good actually, because it comes with four minifigures that you can actually get multiple of, but yeah. For this one, this one only has one play feature as well. So most of these sets only have one play feature. So the only play feature in most of the Star Wars Battle Pack set are the stud shooters. I'm just, I'm gonna shoot right now. Actually, I'm gonna double shoot with the two I have. Pew! And place them back on. 
and let's put them back. And now for the second biggest set, I'm going to show you the very first spell pack. To me, this is the second most play feature set. Yeah. So the cool thing is that you can move the legs. Very important. Uh, I wish you can turn this around, but you also have another stud shooter. <laughs> I'm going to shoot so many. I'm going to shoot it right now. And yeah. And I think it might also have another play feature that I'm just going to. Uh, I'm not sure if this is really a play feature or just like the way that they built it. Um, the fact that you can do this. <laughs> yeah, I was just joking. Uh, anyway. So, the set's not over yet, so. This has a lot of play features. Well, not too many, but it has another set. <laughs> yeah, so many guns, so. Um, I have so many, thanks to these Star Wars sets, I have so many of these now. Before I had any Star Wars sets, I only had like five or six of these red ones. Now that I have Star Wars, I have 50, like 47 or 57 of these. I'm going to turn it around. And you can like move this. Then it's time to shoot these. Pew! I was just joking, it doesn't even shoot. I wish it did though. Anyway. Now let's go on to the big boy. Lego armor. Um, so the so this has a lot of play features. The fact that you can move this is one play feature. This is two play features. This over here is three play features. This is four play features, and of course the fact that someone pushes it from the back. It's five play features. So this actually told me in the set. And it has five play features. Actually, no, six play features. It has a secret box. Secret box. And yeah. I think that's all it has for play features. Y yeah. I mean, I guess if you count that, the fact that you can put someone in the door. Actually, that's not really a play feature, but yeah. Uh, that's all my Lego Star Wars sets, then. So, just place them back where they were. And do it in a bit neater way. Here it is, all of my Lego Star Wars sets and minifigures. To be honest, I've actually not counted how many minifigures I have. Let's count it together, guys. So, I'm gonna do some quick math. So it's four times two, four. Okay, two, four times six is 24. I thought I had more than that. I thought it'd at least be like uh, forty minifigures, but twenty-four is still still great for for just collecting Star Wars since like 
April 2021. That's still a good. Because back then I didn't really get any Star Wars sets because I didn't even know what the hell Star Wars was back then. Actually I did, but I just didn't really like it that much. But yeah, now I just really like it. Anyway, so, yeah. I hope you guys like it. Subscribe to see my videos. Bye, guys.